Hello, these short videos were created to introduce Columbus Food functionality. Functionality that our enhancements built seamlessly into the Microsoft Dynamics NAV solution. Using simple examples, we'll highlight key Columbus functionality that's being used by the confectionery industry today. For many years, Columbus has worked with various types of confectioners and their product lines. Columbus has the solution, experience, and support to meet confectioners' unique ERP system challenges. This specific video highlights Columbus Foods' enhancements to the sales and purchase order processes. The key topics will be order guide, standing orders, contract orders, plus Columbus's enhanced pricing and vendor approval. Columbus's sales order guide gives confectioners insight into their customer sales history, extending the possibility for cross or upsell at the point of sales order entry. The items displayed on the order guide are controlled by filters at the top of the form. Using the history period value, a check mark in historical will filter for items with historical sales data sold during that period. Populating the quantity to order and possibly the order unit of measure sets up the order guide. And once complete, the user selects add lines to bring this data back to the sales order. A quick point, Columbus offers the same order guide functionality under the purchase order as well. Confectioners may need functionality to accrue for marketing plans, such as a rebate or a promotion. Confectioners are able to set up and keep track of these programs using Columbus's marketing granule. Likewise, complex commission calculations, including splitting commissions, is possible with Columbus's commissions granule. The functionality here is extensive, so please inquire to find out more. Columbus Food offers confectioners standing orders. These are template orders for the same items and the same quantities, possibly created based on the same delivery schedule. Starting and end dates give an effective date range. While order frequency and next order dates are used for auto-generating sales orders, usually in delivery trip scheduling. In contrast, the user can manually generate sales orders from a standing sales order. Columbus's sales contracts give the confectioners the benefit of setting up individual cards for each contract, giving a greater level of organization. Quantity limits can be defined in two ways, based at the contract and then item level. For the confectioner, the primary purpose of working with sales contracts is to define and prioritize different sets of customer-specific pricing conditions, which becomes available at the time of order entry. It is possible to instruct NAV to direct customers to only order those items for which a contract price exists. Confectioners who require flexible sell price calculations and promotional discounts and who need readily available price changing methods will come to rely on Columbus's enhanced pricing features, features that are maintained and updated efficiently. Columbus Foods cost-based pricing gives the confectioner flexibility in determining cost values for which a sales price are calculated, including external values, such as a commodities market price. And break charges are dollar amounts added to the price when a sales unit is split into a smaller quantity. Columbus Food has extended functionality to allow price order at shipment if the order date and the shipment date will differ. Columbus also offers allow off invoice allowance, a discount on a sales invoice itself, which can be based on weight, volume, quantity, or amount. And finally, delivered pricing, a sales price that includes the cost of freight, for example, as part of a value. Confectioners must maintain control over the quality of ingredients, and to ensure quality, they rely on Columbus's approved vendor's functionality. This functionality ensures that only certain items or groups of items will be purchased from pre-approved vendors. If an item has been set up to require vendor approval, only a vendor that has been marked as approved can be used to purchase said item. When a purchase order is created for a vendor, any item for which approval is required must be approved for that vendor before it can be assigned on a purchase line. Attempting to assign an unapproved item to a purchase order will result in the program informing the user that the action is not allowed. That completes this overview video. We anticipate you may have more questions, and we welcome the chance to discuss further your business needs. Thank you for viewing.